Uh, I am very, very disappointed in the New York Ranger effort from last night. And uh, you sat there and you watched the game with me. Yeah, for the most part, yes. For, for the first two periods. Yeah, yeah. And you heard me complaining about a couple of different players. Frank Vetrano was the guy you really – that was the guy who was really in your crosshairs. Well, you know, he, he did not play well for the first two periods, and then he took the penalty that actually got them the power play goal. I mean, we gave up a shorthanded goal, a power play goal, and a breakaway. I mean, I don't know what it is giving up shorthanded goals. Now, that one was – what that one was on Jacob Truba. You know, he's a great player. I love him. He's the guy who sets the tone for the New York Rangers. But he tried to do something that he shouldn't have done, and that was on the power play. Try to carry the puck in instead of shooting it in, and he turned it over and it ended up in the back of the net and a great pass by uh, one of the Carolina Hurricanes. And, you know, when you when you give up goals like that, and for some reason we've done that against this team, uh, you know, that's how you end up losing games. So if there is a game seven, they certainly can't play – with the lackluster effort that I think we all saw last night. And I know Gerard Gallant after the game was very disappointed in his team's performance. I was disappointed in his team's uh, performance. We talk about stars of the game. You know, after the game, they give the three stars. Yep. I'm going to give three minuses this morning. Number one. Three minuses. Th number one, Frank, Frank Petrano. His yep. first two periods were awful. And yet, you know, in the third period, he showed up a little bit more. He was blocking shots. Number two, Artemi Panarin. I, I mean, I know he's a playmaker, but he plays along the boards too much when you watch watch Connor McDavid, you watch Nathan McKinnon, you watch the top end players in the league, they all go to the middle of the ice. Mika Zibanejad in the middle of the ice. He's got to start shooting the puck and he's got to get to the middle of the ice and stop with the dipsy doos and the turn because this team is too good defensively. So you have to force everything to the middle of the ice. They're forcing everything away from the uh, away from the goal. And then the other one is Chris Kreider. You know, Chris Kreider is, uh, you know, 220 pounds. He's six foot two and he's a rolling thunder when he gets going, and he sets the tone for the entire team. So right there, those are my three minuses. I would think that Gallant would tell you that they didn't play very good uh, collectively, and that's usually the way it goes when you lose. But when I look at that game last night and I look at the three different players that had three really lackluster or bad games, those are the three players that come to mind for yeah, me. Yeah, it didn't feel like the Carolina Hurricanes were forcing the Rangers into those mistakes, even though they're very, very good at home, and you know that, and We've seen the way the series gone. It seemed like these were these were forced errors by the Rangers. Yeah. And it was it was their fault. So I, I still think that they're gonna win game six. I mean, if you look at the way that the series has gone, back at the garden elimination game, they had their backs against the wall against the Penguins three straight times, down three one. I think this does go seven, and then we're just gonna be watching that. That game would be on to Monday, uh, Monday, Monday would Monday. be Memorial Monday. Memorial, Memorial Day. Day Monday. Yeah, which wow. would be a great would which would be a great uh, you know eight o'clock game to, or seven not to touch game. the money or anything. No, but, but not. Yeah. I mean, but the, the thing about it is, is that seven game series you're going to have your ups and downs. You're going to have your twists and turns like we had in the previous series. Yeah, I came in here after two games, three and four, and I was just livid by the way everybody was playing. But uh, this wasn't the case last night. But last night there's just crucial errors, and I don't know how many times our Temi Panarin is going to turn the puck over in the middle of the ice. Once he did it in the defensive zone, another time, he, or twice, two other times, he did it right around the red line. And those are dangerous passes that end up putting everybody on their heels and allows the other team to get some momentum. So I, I think those are the things that, you know, they have to stay away from. And I want to see Panarin start getting to the middle of the ice more. And I know he's a playmaker and all year long it's been that way. But uh, you know, last night it was just awful. It was an awful effort. And uh, again, Igor Shosturkin hung out the dry you know you can't stop everything you got it you got to help them and uh, last night they let him down again so uh hopefully uh, when we come back tomorrow night uh eight o'clock at the garden uh place is going to be rocking we get the game six and then uh hopefully uh we keep our fingers crossed that there is a game seven come monday night i'd like to let everybody know that eddie scazzeri is out in the crowd so if you want to have some face time and some time with Eddie, we have sent him out there to represent us. So go up and bother him and take pictures and everything. He is right there. It was before uh, someone said, I need to meet Eddie. And uh, he, what does he look like? And I said, he's a guy he's with a ponytail. He'll be milling around. So then another guy with a ponytail walked by, and he goes, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. And the guy goes, I don't know what the F you're talking about. <laughs> so that is Eddie Scazzeri right there. All right, so we did end up watching the game first period at a nice establishment. Yes. Uh, by the way, who had the best Brussels sprouts I've ever had in my Really? Life. Yes. Wow. Unbelievable. What's the name of that place? Deal? Uh, what was it? Al, what's the name of that place? Deal Lake. 
Bar and Grill. Yeah, all right. So bar deal, and Company. Bar, bar and Company. company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Deal Bar and Company. Now, that's a great place. It's got TVs all over the place. Oh, yeah. Everybody was fantastic. And uh, the portions were ridiculous, by the way. Eddie, I don't know what the hell Eddie was eating. It, it was like a barbecued chicken sandwich that looked like it was like four inches tall. <laughs> well, yeah, so it's a, it was a Nashville hot chicken sandwich oh. where it was two chicken cutlets with all sorts of other stuff on it that was stacked high on like a buttery bun. And then you could see all the description on there. And then Eddie also goes, oh, can you add bacon to that? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. And they go, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever you need. Yeah, yeah. whatever whatever you uh, I mean, want. Yeah, so, but I'm I'm a rotisserie chicken guy. Oh, yeah. And most of the time you don't see on a menu a rotisserie chicken. Yeah. You see something else? So I actually had the same dinner that Al Dukes had. <laughs> I know. We both Shocking. had rotisserie chicken, which was great. It was a great place. It was a really good place. Food was outstanding. Service was great. Um, Al, Phil- was a, Al was a little light on the tip, I thought. <laughs> Well, you knew that was going to happen. So Al actually picked up dinner last night because he said, this is my hometown. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, every people out here, they don't realize Al Dukes actually pays for some stuff because this is the right thing to do. And you snuck a look at the tip and you didn't like it. Huh? I didn't like it. So I had to, you know, slip her a little, uh, a little extra. Uh, I mean, again, you know, it's, I, I, like what you guys don't understand. And I and I hope, I, I'm praying to God, that after you played golf yesterday, you did the right thing by your caddy. But I'm just saying, like, you don't understand. The show has got a reputation. The sh- oh. did, Hold on, uh, wherever Apria. Turn his mic on, yeah, Jesus! We, what are you doing? We did uh, Apria. Still, still not on. We did better than that. Wait, you, we need. You, you, uh, you so lost, lost your mic. Mo- All right, there, there he goes. Okay, go. We did better than that. Yeah. He's better than screw- that. Apria's already screwed up three. Times. We only, we had a four caddy. <laughs> yeah. Who got paid like a caddy? All right, good. Yeah, that's good. See? So he got double what he should have gotten. Did he know who you guys were? He yes. Yes. yes yeah. So did. you Absolutely. have a reputation. 100%. You have to. You have to keep the reputation yeah. right. You got to keep it straight. Keep the pot straight. Now, part of why he got double what he was supposed to get. Yes. My buddy Scott took care of him before he left. We didn't know that. Oh, really? Yeah. And he didn't tell you. He did not. See, that's a good caddy. <laughs> wow. Right. Exactly. I oh. didn't realize yeah, that my, he my, got my... like six hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. Right. So are you allowed to tell me where you played yesterday or no? I don't know. Why, why couldn't you tell me where you played? Uh, Rumson Country Club. Oh, it's a great place. It's awesome. It was, it was a it nice flat place. Phenomenal. It's flat, right. So it's great. Yeah, so, phenomenal. So who are you guys country clubbing it oh, up out country here? Country like club it. golf, baby. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes the great. Great. Except when I drove across the fescue and got yelled at. Yeah, yeah. No, you can't. I, mean. I know. <laughs> no, no, no. I know that. <laughs> you know that. He, he. I didn't know that, but I pointed <laughs> out that there were tire tracks And a lot there. of them. And I was like, if there's tire tracks there, somebody else has been there. So I was like, let's yeah, go. Yeah, the maintenance crew has been there. Well, I followed the tire tracks. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not the right thing to do. I agree. I knew. But he kind of forced me into it. Well, I was like, hey, I mean, you're not the only one. Come All right, on, so let's he go did, find so, the ball. So he did okay. He did. I thought great. All right, so better than what you thought. Yes. 100%. All right, so the, so the lessons worked. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And it's good. I know you got the itch. I do. Yeah. Everything is great. That's, it was that's awesome. fantastic. You know, I played a, a round of golf at due process yesterday. It was yeah. absolutely one of my favorite golf courses down here. Yeah, but you played with a bunch of well, guys I, that were holding you up. I mean, we got done in three and a half hours. You had to go straight to dinner for Yeah, they, they built the pyramids uh, <laughs> faster than we played golf yesterday. But, you know, when you got guys looking for balls all over the place. Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, there's a lot of fescue over there as well, and it's a very uh, penalizing course in that regard. But all I care is that I left with the money. Oh, so that right. Was good. good job. And yeah, by the way, my caddy got paid twice, too. Oh, did he? Yes. So, you know, I get into the cart, and Janelle says to me, goes, you know, I took care of the caddy after I had just taken care of the caddy. No. And, of course, the caddy doesn't say anything. He doesn't say anything. No, of course not. So he's got got double tipped yesterday, and he should probably be feeling pretty good about himself today. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the red bell so you're notified when we have new content.